Oh, you don't know what that means, right? That means this is it. <laughs> well, I just want to have a dog bark. <laughs> I was every now and then I had to tell him, Pastor, don't bite me. <laughs> but I can't stop. I'm only on first page, y'all. Right? <laughs> I'm going to give you a little more than me going to go. Is that all right? So, is that all right with this side? So, look, if this side decide to leave, you, you got to stay with me. All right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about revival. Yes, revival. Amen. And God's people from the pulpit to the door. Don't ever thank the preacher because God uses him at a level of excellence or use him at a level of ministry or use him at a level of, of the prophetic that he don't need to be revived as well. As long as that person is a human being, they need to be revived. So don't ever look at the preacher and oh, they super, they done flew around the building two or three times. It don't mean nothing. They still need revival. Because when the preacher get done preaching, temptation come at that preacher at its strongest effect. Uh, you don't understand it. Come at its strongest effect. Uh, I can tell you some story. I ain't gonna mess with them preachers. Hey man, I'm gonna go on and keep going. Listen, uh, uh, there might be a special TV service on TV that you want to stay home with. The devil comes up with all kinds of stuff to try to keep you from going to your service. Amen. And sometimes you don't have service that much. So to be absent from the service, the Bible says, abstain. No, 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 no. Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. For Satan not to facilitate yourself together as the matter of some is. You know, some people don't understand your strength is in here. Huh? You come to get strength so you can deal with them people that is y'all. Amen. And guess what? When I was working, I retired in 09. I retired in 09. And it seemed like every Monday was a sick day for me. Oh my God, I better beat myself up. Lord have mercy. Oh God, it's in the book. But I, I got to give it to myself too. Amen. Lord forgive me. Amen. But I was calling off sick because I was wore out from Sunday. You see how I'm sweating now. All sweated up and wore out. And so on Monday, I'd be so whipped and so tired that I'd be just laying in the bed. And I get the phone and say, Officer Johnson is not coming in today. He said, okay, they give me a number. And I hang up. They said, do you know when you're coming? I'll call you back and tell you when I'm coming. And I hang up. But don't you do that if you ain't got no paid sick days. <laughs> don't be telling me the preacher told me to call him off. I was getting paid for calling off. Yeah, I'm not. I said, yeah, man. So don't do it if you ain't going to get paid. Get up and go to work. Amen. 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 Amen on this side. Amen. The added workers on this side. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, 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 so. Ah, good God, my ass. So much, so much joy out of me. I had one time. So you got to understand the devil will try to do cause any distraction to stop you from keeping your spirit revived. Just by me calling off when I really wasn't sick was a revival sapper. That's why I had a lot of time I used to call off and I had the phone still in my hand and said, Lord, forgive me. Because I really wasn't sick. I just was tired. But some of you, you say tiredness is a sickness, but you'll take that sickness to the mall. To the flea market, to Popeyes, and to the restaurant. So stop it. And we use that same excuse. The doctor, I'm tired. Oh, I've got to stay home and get some rest. So you wait about two hours and call. Where you at? Oh, I, you know, I had to slip out and go to the mall. Why did you come to church? Amen. Because they wanted to give God an excuse. That's right. The people don't understand. They're not giving leaders the excuse. They're giving God the excuse. But every time you try to give God an excuse, you ought to think about how good he has blessed you. And take your excuse. But, but, but. And if you could, you need to start eating. 
Because your excuse usually is a lie. That's right. He's all the color in that paper. Pass I'm going to pay you for that pay. Can you remember that they did that attack? And I ain't got my mace on me or nothing. I ain't got my handcuffs. I ain't got nothing on me. See, I might have a pocket knife in here. He needs us to not let things sap our ego. That's right. Amen. Amen. Things can mess up your revival. <laughs> It's the <laughs> Things messing up here. <laughs> ah, inside. <laughs> ah, good God, <down>, man. <laughs> Listen, your revival is strengthened through your Bible reading, through your prayer time, through your family worship. Uh, it is important that you come together, pray fast, and read your word. It is not enough to watch the television preacher. And I've heard and I've listened to a lot of the television preachers now. They're telling you to go to your local church. That part you done turned off the TV by the time they got to that part. They're telling you pay your tithes at your local church. Because when you die, your local church is the one you're going to want to use. You're going to want to see your local pastor because Crumplo ain't coming. TD ain't coming. Osteen ain't coming. But Pastor Michael's going to be there. And he might have to preach and play. So I admire those uh, uh, TV ministers who who are trying to point you the right way but that person on the phone is telling you the wrong thing. You know, a lot of phone conversation really messes up a lot of people. That's why it's no good. It really messes up a lot of people. Just tonight, some of you probably came tonight and somebody probably said, hey, y'all going down there to Pastor Michael's again. Y'all was already down there a while ago. Uh -huh. I'm quiet. Uh -huh. This side, y'all say y'all ain't going to leave me. <laughs> this side, I don't know. I think I got the keys in the hand. 